welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, I'm Katie and I'm a mum of three. On my channel, I share videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. And at the moment, I'm in the middle of a huge series all about decluttering my home. And as you can see this week, I am in my girl's bedroom. And honestly, this is the room of doom and I'm dreading doing it. Uh, I don't know where to start. I'm already feeling overwhelmed, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it down into time slots. I'm gonna break it down into bit by bit, a drawer at a time. And hopefully by the end of the week, it won't look so bad. I wanna show you what it looks like now though, because honestly, it's just awful. So as you come in, we have got a, well, there's a shelf and some pegs where they hang up some of their bags coats that aren't just their everyday coats and then there's some oh look, it all just falls off and then there's some bags on the floor then they come around you've got these are the units um if you remember um oh i don't know just before christmas i sorted out the conservatory and i brought these units upstairs which i'm already regretting really but it, the conservatory's tidier as a result but these are just the girls toys so in here they've got things like um there's playmobile in that one there's all hair and like nail varnishes in that one hammer beads in that one just stuff that william would never play with this is meant to be a delightful harry potter thing they love harry potter they got some gorgeous harry potter lego um and it's all just become this dumping ground rather than a beautiful display they got some random pictures. This is Grace from when she was like two. Nothing particularly is Lily's in this room as term in terms of decoration. The tree that is painted on the wall was done when Grace was one and then Lily was born and then William was born. Lily moved in here and we've just never redecorated. These are the, their beds which obviously just bed, but they've got inbuilt shelves along the back and they just hoard loads of stuff. I mean, some of it's just books and that's fine, but they've just got random stuff. Lily's is worse. Um, she just, I mean, what even is, this is her box of doom within the room of doom and just everything is just, she's a hoarder. She's a real hoarder. Then, so they love their cuddly toys. They've got a whole trunk of cuddly toys down there. The windowsill is littered with stuff. I can't open the curtains because it's so sunny out. We've got a table here that's, some of the paint is all chipped off. I'm gonna get rid of this because it's always so cluttered. It actually causes an issue with clutter rather than just being a place that they can sit and do playing. So I said, you know what, we're just gonna get rid of it, which then leaves me the problem. They've got personalized little chairs that my mum got them when they were little. What do I do with those? I don't know. And then we come round, we've got some dolls that they never play with. They've got books overflowing. And then they just treat the room like a dumping ground. I mean, it's just gross. Oh, and of course, save the best till last, the Sylvanians are up there. Oh, and on the back of the door, look, shoes. I don't know where to begin, honestly. I'm dreading it and I just wish I could just go downstairs and not do it. <laughs> but I'm going to start off, I'm going to take the table out and I'm going to just look around and if there's anything obvious that can be removed instantly, that's what I'm going to do first because at least I'll see an immediate impact. Um, and then I think I'm going to start with the books because they're organised because they're like, just books are easy, aren't they? It's like a yes or a no, and then just make them neat and it'll look neat and tidy, but <laughs> wish me luck. So these ones to get rid of, these ones are more William's range, so they need to go in his room now, which is going to cause me a problem, but these ones to get rid of, and I've got loads of space now that I can move some of the ones on their bed down. <sighs> Thank you. 
So today, I've got to tackle this. I'm looking forward to doing it today, actually. Even though yesterday was really very messy and stressful because there was so much stuff, I woke up this morning and thought, yes, I'm going to carry on. So as much as I'm not looking forward to this bit specifically, I am looking forward to the end result. to be as respectful to her tat as possible um it was quite easy to see there was loads of tissues and just scraps of paper uh, and then i just tried to organize it a little bit better so it's still cluttered but it's her clutter that's not my choice to decide whether she wants to keep a moldy old snail she made in nursery or not um but at least it's neater uh i'm just gonna put all the cushions back on the bed and then move on to the cuddly toys before I go on to Cuddly Toys, I need to deal with this. This is the remnants of Lily's bed and just stuff I've randomly pulled out. So before I make more mess, I'm going to have to deal with this. Today is all about the Cuddly Toys. I thought I was going to be able to do it yesterday, but Lily's bed took me a whole hour. It was so full of stuff. So I'm going to get them out one at a time and really have a look at them and I will know whether they love them or not. So I will keep them and then do a provisional pile of what I think they can get rid of and then I will talk to them about it later and see what they think and hopefully they'll agree with me. If I leave it tidy so that they can see what it could look like, I think that might help sway them. Oh my god. I think I've actually done really well. Um, I think I've cleared half. If they could just agree with me. And I won't be able to update, update that situation until they get home. But the basket is now clear. And I'm going to get rid of that as well. I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to get something round and put it in the corner there. I don't know what. But, um, yeah, and that should fit. There's not actually that many things here. And I think we might even be able to get rid of some of the ones here. I've made an assumption that they might want to keep some, but they might be like, nah. And hopefully they'll agree with these choices. But I've got to try and get that out now. it gets worse before it gets better i feel like my mind's about to explode there's so much stuff on the floor um, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with sylvanians next and because i've moved over the harry potter stuff from this side in front of me here to over there where the lego now is sitting on the windowsill i'm going to be able to spread some of the sylvanians out um so that they're not like perching on an edge there
last day and I'm going to sort through these. They shouldn't need too much work because I sorted them when I did the playroom and brought them up here. Um, but I'll go through them anyway and then I just need to sort through that and decide like what we're doing with that area. And there's just a few bits on the floor that just need to go out basically. There's nothing left. And then I'll be done. So, the finished room. So much tidier. I'm so proud of myself, I can't even tell you. So, you come in, dressing gowns and bags. The shelf has just got their little um, jewellery box thing. Then we've got some of the Sylvanians on there. And that needs emptying, that's their bin. And the drawers are all tidy. Their beds, they've been making their beds every day and enjoying their space now. So that's Lily's bed. I mean, it's still cluttered, but it's better. The cuddly toys. I went out that afternoon and got that. That's why it suddenly like appeared. Um, when it got that, that was from Dunelm. It's a laundry basket. Then on the windowsill, just got the Harry Potter stuff and just some other bits and bobs of theirs. And then down here is just space. Now, they've got a couple of their dolls just sitting there. We've got a little puppy. Their books are all neat and tidy. And then just, I mean, the floor is nice and tidy. And then we come up and we've got all the Sylvanians, all neat and tidy. I really am super proud of myself. There were days where I was just like, oh my God, is this ever gonna end? But it's so much nicer in here now. It looks so much bigger, just more spacious. It's cleaner and it's just, it's just a really nice space. The only thing now is we're gonna be having to decorate it in the summer. So we'll be pulling it all out again in the summer. But for the next few months, this room is done. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made you feel motivated to get in and sort out those toys as well. It is hard work, but it is so worth it. If you did enjoy it, I'd love it if you would hit that subscribe button so you get notified of new uploads. And I will be back next week. Bye!